Many will never forget the statewide manhunt six years ago for two men who escaped the Clinton Correctional Facility in upstate. Now arguments are being made in court that one of the men who escaped, Richard Matt, may be responsible for a murder that two other men were convicted of. Channel 2's Jeff Preval has that story tonight. When Richard Matt and David Sweat escaped from Clinton Correctional six years ago, the entire state was on edge. Matt was eventually killed by police and Sweat was caught. Now in state Supreme Court, questions are being raised of whether Matt may be responsible for the murder of Deborah Mendel in 1993 in the city of Tonawanda. According to a Buffalo News article from back then, two men, James Pugh and Brian Scott Lorenz, were accused of strangling and stabbing to death Mendel who caught them burglarizing her home. The state's inmate system says Lorenz was sentenced to 37 years to life. Pew has been out of jail and was in court today. That's him with the black hoodie. Pew declined to do an on camera interview, but when I asked him if he had any comment, he responded that he's always been innocent. They didn't know the Mendel family. They never went to their house. Uh, they had nothing you know, to do with this horrible crime. Defense attorneys say they received notes from prosecutors reinvesting this case and argued in court that a detective had a close relationship with Richard Matt and that three years ago, DNA testing done in Erie County excluded Lorenz and Pugh from all physical evidence in the case. You know, the prosecution is a sham. It, there's no other word for it. But prosecutors say Richard Matt's DNA was also excluded. Erie County DA John Flynn says in a statement there is no credible evidence to link Richard Matt to the murder. The DA does say two prosecutors who were on the case were taken off of it and reassigned because according to the DA, they didn't see eye to eye on the case with top prosecutors. The DA says at this point, there is no new credible evidence to warrant the case being vacated or reopened. Now, defense attorneys say that Lorenz should be released immediately. However, state Supreme Court Judge Christopher Burns says that he's going to review documents related to the case. He has set a temporary hearing for December, and defense attorneys say that they are interested in calling David Sweat as a witness. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.